Hey everybody, Derek here. I'm here to bring you another video for Z Nation. Um, today's video that I'm going to do is my thoughts on how long can Z Nation last as a series. Um, this is going to take into account um, everything that has happened on the series up to t uh, tonight's episode, Resurrection Z. Um, basically taking into consideration the storyline and a couple of other things that they're doing. Uh, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on how long I think that the show can last. Um, again, there's going to be spoilers, um, as I'm going to be talking about essential plot points. So if you are not caught up, if you excuse me, if you are not caught up on Z Nation, uh, do not watch the video as it will contain spoilers. Okay. So um, you know, one of the things that you always look at, you know, with a TV show is, you know, how long can it go on for and you know, TV in general, like the history, has kind of changed the way that we do television, in my opinion. You know, a lot of shows um, back in the, you know, like the 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, around the early times of television, some shows could last for up to a decade or more. I mean, just based on the way that they wrote it. I mean, you had Gunsmoke lasting 20 seasons, you had Bonanza lasting 14, I think you had, what, Hawaii Five-0. I think the original lasted like the first one was like 10, 11 years. And even in today's um, television, you have NCIS that's going on its 12th season. You have uh, Two and a Half Men. Now, granted, that is ending. Um, but I guess you also have, you know, Law and Order SVU. You have Criminal Minds. You have CSI that have all lasted anywhere from 10 to 15 years. So um, television is definitely, you know, still producing those shows. But you also find there's many shows that, you know, the magic number is like seven. Or six, you know, like Sons of Anarchy, you have Justified, um, you know, you name it. There's a lot of shows now that really, they're only meant to last for so long. And that's for story's sake, and that's for, you know, just um, what you can do with a plot. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. And um, a couple of things that I look at at Z Nation is, you know, in a way, they've kind of painted themselves into a corner almost. Um, when it comes to the story, because of what it's about. Now, granted, it is about a zombie apocalypse, but you've kind of narrowed the idea. Walking Dead is different in the sense that it only focuses on the zombie apocalypse, and it basically just has sections of stories that they drag out, which is not a bad thing, but it basically is allowing it to expand, whereas Z Nation has always been focused on one goal, and that is we're on a mission in the zombie apocalypse to get a guy named Murphy who is carrying the cure to California so that we can get the cure and save the day. That's pretty much the overarching idea of the show Z Nation. And of course you deal with a couple of other things that you would normally deal with in a zombie apocalypse. But if you had to sum it up in one sentence what this show is about, it's just what I said. Um, and it's really going to depend on um, the pacing that they use that determines, you know, a couple of different things. Because the way that I'm looking at it, I kind of think that they almost have to get to California by the end of the season. I think we would feel robbed as viewers if they, you know, stopped in Texas and it was just like, oh, well, you know, we're going to do this thing and leave you with a big cliffhanger. Yeah, California's next year. I, I think that some people would be very turned off to that idea um, because, I think that's just one of the things that we're looking forward to is them getting to California and seeing what exactly is there and what's going to happen. And I think that if they didn't do that, that would almost be the equivalent of the television show The Killing when, you know, you asked who killed Rosie Larson and you're thinking you're going to find out at the season finale. Nope, we're going to drag it out a whole nother season. And it kind of really upset some viewers and just, you know, didn't go as well as they planned it to. And I think that the same thing would happen to Z Nation, you know, where if they didn't get to California by the end of the season, I mean, we don't have to necessarily answer every single question in the finale. I mean, they're, if they're going to do another season, then they definitely need to be able to leave room for more to explore. And I think they can. It's just, you know, we, I think we need to at least get to the lab. Um, almost like how Walking Dead had to get to Terminus by the end of fourth season. I mean, it just would have been ridiculous if they wouldn't have. So, you know, I think that in some ways, though, that's going to control a lot of the plot, because one of the things that you see in Z Nation is 
there's a lot of episodes that they basically run into different things along the way. I mean, you know, the first one you deal with everybody getting together. The second one you deal with, oh, we got to get gas from the oil refinery. The third one's cannibals. The fourth one's those soldiers. The fifth one's taking shelter from a tornado that has zombies in it. And now this one being, hey, we met up in a community where there were people and then this crazy priest came and completely wiped it out, you know. So the thing is, is that, you know, they really are by an episode by episode basis constantly changing the circumstances of the group's situation, you know. Like, if they really wanted to, they could make it so that they would have stayed in that compound for several episodes and dragged the story out. And in some ways that's a good thing and some of it's not, you know, because again, because of the fact that we're so focused on the mission, we got to keep moving. You know, it might be okay to stay there for two episodes, but, you know, they got to keep going if they want to get to California, you know. And I think that was part of, like, the disadvantage of having it in New York is that there's so much distance to cover, whereas if they were in the middle of the country, then maybe they could expand that out a little bit and stay in one area for a longer amount of time. Um, and I look at that in both ways, because in, in the one sense, I kind of wish that they would you know, slow it down a little bit, have us explore things. But on the other hand, it's also nice, you know, dealing with, you know, there's no questions left over. It was a great story. It was a great episode idea. It's over. We need to continue with the mission. And I think that it, it, it serves both ways. Um, another thing that I look at, you know, they're killing characters off. And, um, you know, you would think that these characters would be good for the long run. I mean, I definitely, you know, when I think about this, I'm talking about Hammond and I'm talking about Garnett, you know, who have both been killed off the show at this point. And in a regular show, you know, you might have wanted to keep them alive for a little bit and see how they interacted and then maybe get near the middle, kill one off or something like that, you know. But they're basically moving at the pace where, you know, they're going to do whatever they need to do in order to get to the next point and, you know, provide a little bit of drama. And killing off main characters is definitely, you know, part of a zombie apocalypse, but I think that they're definitely taking a very, you know, stronger stance on it where it doesn't matter how essential or popular the character is, if it, if it fits the storyline, we're going to do it. You know, by killing off Hammond and Garnett, they've killed off two very good characters. And I think that that might be a sign that they might realize this show is not a seven-year deal. You know, because if they were thinking in the long run, they would want to keep those characters around, in my opinion. You know, yes, you have to kill characters off, but I feel like they do it at like a very, at a quicker pace than maybe like other shows do. And it, you know, closes off storylines and it closes off ideas. I mean, we could have definitely explored Hammond and Garnett, you know, fighting a little more. I think that definitely would have been a good storyline. We could have explored Garnett and Roberta's relationship a little more if we really wanted to. That could have lasted a while, but instead they're closing off storylines and sticking more to the mission, which almost makes me think that they realize that they just need to get whatever they can get out of the story, and then once you know, once we get to that point, then we got to think of an end game. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Z Nation only lasted um, two, three, four seasons at the most, um, because of the fact that they just narrowed the idea down you know, coming out from that and coming up with a new storyline could be very harmful to the uh, overall idea of the story. It can basically take whatever you did in the earlier seasons and completely ruin it. And a couple examples I can think of off the top of my head of other shows, the big one for me is Prison Break. I watched Prison Break ever since the beginning. And, of course, the show's about breaking your brother out of prison, you know, so that he doesn't get electrocuted in the electric chair for a crime he didn't commit. Well, you know, it's a very simple idea that, you know, is definitely very well thought out. All those episodes in the first season are really great, but then after that it turned into a, you know, oh, well, we're going to, there's a big conspiracy now, which we already knew about. We're going to drag it out like this, and now we're going to put the brother back in another prison, and then the, the other brother's going to break that brother out, and then we're going to... I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Like, you're taking an idea, and you're just, boom, you know, like, in some ways it ruined the quality of Prison Break. I still love Prison Break, but you saw just how, you know, when you're stuck on that very simple idea, anything after that may not necessarily be as good. 
it would almost be like if they got to California and there is no lab. And so now they just decide, oh, well, we're going to survive. So we're going to build this nice little, you know, <laughs> shelter and defend it. And I just don't think that it would be as good. Or, you know, if they brought in a storyline of like, oh, well, the government's now in California and they're doing this crazy thing. And that. I, I just think that, again, it could ruin the quality of what they're doing in the previous, you know, seasons and what they're doing for the overall plot. I think another example of that is Revenge, um, ABC show. I don't watch that as much, but from what I've seen, like, yeah, the first first season was pretty good, but after that, it's like, come on now, how many people can you really get revenge on here? You know, you're kind of kind of making it a little ridiculous. And like, that's another thing with Z Nation is, you know, okay, your goal is to get to California, but I'm more interested in, in also knowing, like, well, what are you going to do after that? Um if you plan on having future seasons um, because they definitely could have a couple ideas of, you know, going out and testing the cure, I thought would definitely be a good, you know, like if they do get there and they do the experiments and they find out that Murphy does have a cure, finding different ways of using it, you know, or maybe, you know, having a, a, an idea of, Oh, well I have some of the things but you guys need to go out and do ABC in order for me to, you know, uh, mass produce this cure or we got to do this or we got to do that I think that they can still make it work um, it's just a matter of I don't think that it's a storyline that can really go on for five six seasons as is um, you know because again if they if they continue to make it more and more ridiculous you're going to lose interest really quickly I think the reason why Z Nation has a lot of you know good things about it now is because they definitely have a good storyline and they're definitely taking advantage of, you know, all the shocking things that you can do in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, cannibals are definitely shocking. Cults are very shocking. Um, and even, I thought the tornado was not a bad idea. I mean, you know, that's very valid. You know, if I'm standing in the middle of a road and a tornado comes through and I'm getting thrown, and if I'm a zombie, you know, I mean, it's not going to kill me unless some piece of debris hits me in the head or, you know, and th those aren't bad ideas. They're definitely focusing on a lot of great small storylines, you know, and they're definitely taking advantage of showing how dangerous this mission is and everything else that's out there. I think it's a very good idea. Um, <clears throat> but again, I don't think that it's a show that can really go six, seven years without completely changing the storyline. I mean, a show can do that. I mean, you have Homeland that's completely changed the concept that they've had from the first three seasons into something different. And I'm sure that maybe Z Nation could do that, but could they do that and still keep the interest? Because once the mission's over, it might, it, all it can really, in my opinion, turn into is a show about survival. And that's more up Walking Dead's alley. But I think that it just wouldn't have the same effect on the audience. Um, again, that's my opinion. I do think that Z Nation is a great show, though. Um, but I think that another thing is, is when you make a show, I think you need to think about just how long can you take this before it gets ridiculous. And I'm glad the creators of Prison Break finally were like, uh, yeah, we kind of need to wrap this up. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, I think the writer's strike also hurt it. But you, also, you get my point. You know, just you can only take an, some ideas so far and then you just completely – taken away from what this show was originally about and you know i think that at this point you know the fact that they're killing off main characters very quickly the fact that they're they're continuing to you know make a faster paced story by continuing to go to california i just don't think that it's a show that is going to last for years and years and years i could be wrong i'm willing to admit that i mean they could have a very good idea or they could basically fine tune it every season and make it something different so, okay, California's bust, there's no lab, but, oh, there's, you know, a government outpost over here, you know, and it may be just as interesting. I don't know. Um, we just need to see what happens, and I think that we'll have more ideas at the end of the season, just where they're going to go with it, and, of course, that's also if it gets renewed. Um, I was thinking about that as well, and I think there's a decent chance that as long as they want a second season, I think that they can do that. Um the ratings for Z Nation have been about on par with other sci-fi shows. You know, sci-fi shows really only get about a million, two million viewers, give or take. Sometimes three, depending on how the show is. But 
you, you don't see like 10 million people tuning into a tuning into a sci-fi show. It doesn't mean that it's a bad show. It's just people's interests are elsewhere. So in regards to the numbers, I think that Z Nation definitely has a decent chance of getting renewed. Um, I'm just, you know, curious to see, you know, where they go with the story, where are we going to end up in the final episode, and I think that's going to really judge how long a show like this can last. So, hey, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Feel free to subscribe. I'm going to keep on making videos on Z Nation. I also make videos on Walking Dead, so if you're interested, uh, go ahead and watch those. I have a lot of great ideas to share. If you have any video topics that you would like to suggest, feel free to do so. I'm always open to uh, taking suggestions from people. You know, I want to know what you want to listen to. So thanks, everybody. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you.